there are two guys that I, I come to mind. One of them is uh, Richard Lester, and the other one is Mike Hodges. So if you can talk about them, if they are indeed an influence in, in the way you approached the movie at all. Well, it's funny. I kind of grew up. I, I think Richard Lester is one of those directors that I'm ashamed to say I grew up on and then kind of maybe even forgot that was an influence to me. But then when a number of people mentioned it to me about Richard Lester and, and I, I kind of realized that I'd grown up on his stuff, whether it was like, and if you know that, the, you, know, you know, the running, jumping, standing still film. Yes. I think that's one of the first things I ever saw on TV. And even, you know, like um, his, you know, his Three Musketeers and, uh, you know, Help and Hard Day's Night. Um, and so I think sort of like retroactively, I realized that he's been a big influence on me. The, w the one that I hadn't seen until, oh, I think I saw it just before I shot the film. I'd never seen The Knack until uh, just before shooting Scott Pilgrim. And then it, it occurred to me kind of what a big influence Richard Lester must have been on, like Jean-Pierre Junot and like mm -hmm. sort of like Emily, which is a film that I love, you know, kind of owes a lot to The Knack. Um, so it, it, the, he was definitely like a, an influence and, and I, th I think sort of like some of his stuff is films that I watched so young like the Beatles films and Running, Jumping, Standing Still film and Superman 2 and Three and Four Musketeers that, uh, and I think he's weirdly one of those auteurs that doesn't really get recognized, get, get recognized as much as he should um, and possibly because he just stopped making films in 89 and um, you know, so I, I, I definitely like, uh, you know, I, I even like big chunks of Superman 3, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> Don't jeer. Bad Superman is awesome. <laughs> great, great Superman suit is amazing in that film. 